Welcome to our lecture online. Rationalizing the denominator also works in a case like this. Now see where what we need to do first. First of all, what we're going to do is rewrite these two denominators in such a way that we can actually take the square root of something there. And so the following thing will look like this. 2x divided by the square root of x squared times x. And you can see that you can take the square root of x squared in the denominator and just be left with an x. We do the same for the second expression here, 3x squared divided by the square root of x to the fourth times x. And again, you can take the square root of x to the fourth and just simply end up with an x in the denominator. So this can then be written as 2x divided by, in this case that would be the square root of x squared is simply x times the square root of x plus, and here we have 3x squared divided by when you take the square root of x to the fourth, that gives you x squared, and then you're left with the square root of x. Now notice, we have an x and an x here, these cancel, and we have an x squared and an x squared there, those cancel as well, which then leaves you with 2 divided by the square root of x, plus 3 divided by the square root of x. Here, I'm going to actually leave a little bit more space here when I rewrite this. So that would be plus 3 divided by the square root of x. Now why did I leave space there? Because I'm going to rationalize the denominator. In both cases, I'm going to multiply here both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of x divided by the square root of x. And I'm going to do the same over here, the square root of x divided by the square root of x. Why do we do that? Well, in that way we can get rid of the square root in the denominator. So this can then simply become 2 times the square root of x divided by the square root of x times the square root of x is simply x. And then plus, here we get 3 times the square root of x divided by, and here again, when you multiply this out, you simply get x. So now basically what we have is we have 2 over x plus 3 over x combined. That gives you 5 over x times, oh, here I made a mistake. That should be the square root of x. 3 times square root of x, and so when I have 2 over x plus 3 over x, which is 5 over x, times the square root of x, which is finally what we have in the end as a simplified result. So again, the idea is, first, let's get rid of whatever we can take the square root of. Once you've done that, you can see you can simplify some things, and then finally, to get rid of the square root of x in the denominator, we're going to rationalize the denominator using that technique, that way we get rid of the radicals in the denominator, and then we simply have 2 over x times the square root of x plus 3 over x times the square root of x. 2 over x plus 3 over x is 5 over x times the square root of x, and that's how you ultimately simplify that expression, and that is how it's done.